in this tutorial video, we are going to go through the laser picture toolpath. So first of all, we will want to go to the toolpath tab and go to the laser picture toolpath. So you can see here we have an image already in our software for this example, and I will go through each option in the laser picture list. So at the beginning, you can see here we can select our tool. So if we click select here, it will bring up the tool database. If you want more information on the laser cut settings in the tool database, I would recommend watching the cut and fill laser tutorial video where I go through each of these settings. But for now, I want to make sure I have the picture settings that I have set already in my tool database selected for this demonstration and click select. You can also see the edit option here. For this, this will allow you to edit any of the tool settings for this toolpath only and this will not affect the main tool database settings. So I do not need to change any of the settings, so I'm just going to click cancel here. So underneath the tool selection, you can see here that some of the tool settings are available. So here you have the max power setting. So this is the maximum percentage of the laser power that we will be using. So this will be used when cutting out the darker areas of the photo. And underneath here, you can see the minimum power option also. So this also will allow you to set the minimum percentage of power of the laser you are using that you would want to use when cutting out the lighter areas of the photo. The next setting you can see here is the move speed. This is the speed that the machine will run when cutting the laser toolpath. You may need to vary this to reduce melting or burning in the material you are using. I would recommend running some test cuts on the material you are using to see what the best setting for this is with your machine and laser you are using. The next option on the list is the overscan option. This will allow you to have the laser move past the edge of the lasered area. This will turn the laser off at the edge of the lasered area, but will allow the machine to continue moving. This can help if you are seeing a darker edge to the laser burn due to machine deceleration. This is machine dependent. And again, I would recommend running test cuts on the material you are using to know how much overscan you may need if you are seeing a darker burn to the edge of your cut. The next section in the laser picture toolpath is the strategy settings where we will select how we want the laser picture toolpath to cut. So the first option here is the raster option. Selecting this option will generate a single set of parallel lines or stripes across the selected image. The hatch option below this will create two sets of parallel lines at a 90 degree angle from each other. This option will generally produce a denser image, but will take longer to cut. So for the raster and hatch option, you also have the option of the line spacing for it. So this is the space between each line that is created and the line angle, which will be the angle that the lines will cut. So now I'm going to create an example toolpath using the raster toolpath. I'm going to go about there for the line spacing and a 45 degree line angle. Again, you will want to play around with these settings to find out what gives the best result for the laser and material you are using. So if we click calculate here, we can preview the visible toolpath. You can see here it's creating a set of parallel lines, a 45 degree angle to create this toolpath. If we reset the image and go back into the toolpath, just click up here again to show the image in the 3D view and now select the hatch option 
and click calculate and preview this visible toolpath. You can see now it has created not only the parallel lines in one direction, but in the opposite direction as well, which is giving us a much denser image. So if I just reset this, go back into the toolpath, you can also see with the raster and hatch toolpath options, there is the option here for dither image. When you have this option unchecked, the laser power will be changed evenly in response to the lighter and darker areas of your image. This will mean there'll be a range of burn tones created on the surface of the material using continuously varying laser power. For some materials, however, the burning process tends to produce only two tones, burnt or unburnt, meaning you would not be able to have a range of burn tones when cutting this toolpath. For materials with this property, an alternative strategy can be used to generate a tonal range using only black dot patterns of different densities instead, much like an old newspaper picture print. You will need to run test cuts on the material you are using to see which toolpath gives you the best cutting result. So if we go and create an example toolpath using the dither image option, I'll go back to a raster toolpath with the dither image selected. I am going to reduce the line spacing slightly to about there and click calculate. So if we preview this visible toolpath, You can see what kind of toolpath is created when using the dither image option. And here you can see the dot pattern that the dither option creates. So if we zoom out, uh, reset the preview and go back into the toolpath. So the next option we have here is the selected vectors option. So if we select this, for this, we will want to create vectors we are going to select to use as the lines to cut the laser picture toolpath. So here, I'm going to select the option so we can see both the 2D view and 3D view in the software. I'm going to go back over to the design tab. So I'm going to create a rectangle around the image. And we're going to close this and then with this rectangle selected, I'm going to go to the vector texture tool to create our vectors we are going to use. For more information on this tool, I would recommend watching the how to create vector textures in the Vectric software tutorial video. But for this, I'm going to use the settings here to create the vectors we are going to use for this toolpath. So if I preview this, you can see now that it's created a set of wavy vectors, which we will be using for the selected vector option. So if I click OK here and go back into our toolpath, I want to select both the image and the vectors we just created and click calculate. So now if we maximize the 3D preview and just preview these toolpaths, you can see now that it has created the laser picture toolpath using the vectors we have just created. You could use this technique to create some interesting patterns when using the laser picture toolpath. I'm just going to reset this preview, go back into the laser picture. The last option for the toolpath is the show output options. Selecting this will allow you to save the laser toolpath from the laser picture tool. For more information on these different options, I would recommend watching the cut and fill laser tutorial video as we go through these options here. 
I hope you have found the laser picture tutorial video helpful. To see the laser in action, we recommend that you also take a look at the getting started with the Vetric laser module video.